This is the scene of the Republican Guard. It has over seven military compounds on each side of it. If a terrorist group managed to go through all of that, I mean, that would detest to a lot about the military. It's the 21st century. I don't know what Hollywood producer managed to concoct this uh, terrorist group idea. Apparently, they're in distress because suddenly they just killed 37 of their own citizens using taxpayers' money issued ammunition and guns that are owned by the Egyptian military itself. It's a bloodbath massacre by a tyrannical military coup regime. It cannot be seen anywhere other than that. Okay, so... Where do we go from here? Nowhere. We're sitting on, on, in the ground. We're continuing our protests. If that means that our blood is going to be spilled while the rest of Egyptians and the rest of the world watch it, then we're ready to pay the price so that our country may be saved. And tell me, do you believe that Morsi is in that military building? We have information saying that he is. The military is not saying anything since the coup. It's been almost a week now since the coup. No information about the president or his team or his staff. He's under the same. We don't know um, where, where he's going. In, the, in that uh, couple of days, we've seen uh, over 100 people killed at the hands of the military and the police and the thugs. We've seen um, police arrests. We've seen closure, about more than 100 people arrested for political reasons. Uh, we've seen closure of media channels. We've seen detainment and destruction of political officers. It's a military regime. It's a police state now. But uh, a lot of people are, are, were very unhappy with uh, President uh, Morsi. Millions of people said they were unhappy with the economy, for starters. What do you say to that? We don't bring down governments because some people are unhappy. Governments are brought down by electoral politics. Isn't that what Western democracy is, is about? If we were to, are going to bring down governments because some people are unhappy, I bet you half of the European countries' governments would have been down in one night with their messed up economies. I bet you that the U.S. economy and its messed up economy would have been down. But the only entity that can bring down the executive head of the office is the legislative head, the Congress or the Parliament. And that's exactly what the president was trying to install here. And it, what stood against him was the old regime represented by the judiciary and the, and the Minister of Interior of the old regime.